I was never thinking about her during your performance. And I, I credit that to you because you. I think that that's like one of the toughest things, but I just, I love that it, it, of course, you know, I'm sure those are shoulders that you're standing on, but like, it's fully yours. It's fully you. yours. But let's do talk about the barber of it all. Um, I know both of you have had some special experiences. Ramin, you and I chatted during, you know, around the time of your Hyde Park performance. I mean, you've actually gotten to perform with her, which is just other level. Um, what's the main thing that you remember about that incredible experience? Yes, tell me everything. Tell us everything. Uh, just how vulnerable and uh, giving she was to open ideas. Like, I really thought, like, this is what you're going to be told to do. Mm -hmm. This is where you stand. And our rehearsal was in her suite at the Savoy. And we wow. just sat having tea. For, I walk in the room. And this guy comes out. Hey, man, it's great to meet you. My name's Lionel. I'm like, yeah, I know it's Lionel Richie. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's like, I'm so nervous to sing after you. I'm like, what? And then we sit down around the piano. And we're just, I'm just talking to Barbara. I'm hanging out. Because this at this point, she FaceTimed me out of the blue. Oh, right. To say, do you want to sing together? I'm like, what is happening right now? <laughs> I'm at boxing with my kid. <laughs> I'm going to be in Hyde Park with Barbara Streisand now. And then we were just talking about stuff and coming up with ideas. And she was asking me my opinion. It felt super comfortable when I, I didn't expect any of that. And she was just amazing. And on the day, seeing how she orchestrated the whole day, like all, and I remember thinking, Hyde Park has never sold this many tickets for anything ever, all riding on her shoulders. Wow. Man, I learned a lot about what it is to be a true star. And they don't make them like that anymore. Mm. Present company accepted. <laughs> but I remember thinking, wow. And then just afterwards, her, and she treated me like a mate. Like she got me the same size trailer as her next to hers. No one else was around us. Wow. And then I'm just sat there after the show with my family and then all her friends are coming by, but they have to pass mine first. So they're all saying hello. I'm like, <laughs> look at all her friends. <laughs> and then oh my, my buddy gosh. Dave comes. I'm like, it's Dave. <laughs> And I remember when Antonio Banderas came up, I was like, oh, my God. I've, I've I know. You were for... ready to pass out. I remember you telling me about <laughs> he that. He comes over and he's like, Ramin, where are you from? And I'm like, I am straight, right? <laughs> and then I go, Mandy, you want to come out here? She goes, I'm busy. I can't come out. I'm like, you're going to want to come out here right now. And she's like, oh, hello. <laughs> Wait, what, what was it about the piano bench, the chair? The... Oh, so she had this chair. For the concert. Oh, right. The fancy chair that she puts on stage, right? Yeah. yeah. And then afterwards, we're all leaving. And then I think the director, Richard, was like... Richard J. He's our friend. I gave me my man. first job when yeah. I was eight years old. He's like, have her chair. She doesn't want it. I'm like, all right. So I put... In, everyone's <laughs> got these nice cars. And here I am with my big <laughs> hillbilly pickup. <laughs> Barbara's chair in the back. So that's in my piano room now. It is? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm going to take that a picture chair. Of it. The first time he told me that story, he sent me a picture of it. And I was like, it's the Barbara Streisand chair. 